color of some of the grains in there, the 10 ounce of dark wheat, black midnight wheat, and the caramel 40s, and the whatnot, the chocolates, and the coffee malts. Batch 83. How you doing? We're brewing. We're brewing. How you doing? So we're going to have a, a chocolate stout that we call Ultra Diesel. I made it once before. This is only the second time I'm making it. So that's what it's going to be is a chocolate stout. How you doing? We're brewing. It's about time to get her doing. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Alright, here goes the stout brew. We're doing in. Brewing, we're brewing, how you doing? We're brewing. Nice temperature, we're coming in at uh, 158 right now, 159, right where I want to be on this brew. The wife stirred it in nice there, I don't like to stir too much, get a stuck mash, but uh, the color of the grains look awesome there. Yeah, that put it's rinsing off there underneath that, all that color. Temperature's right on the money here. Mm. So, nothing more than the cover going on this one. This bad boy. The Ultra Diesel is what this this brew is called. And we're at 159, 160. Right where we want to be here. So this is batch number 83. We call Ultra Diesel. Okay, we're starting to drain to the boil kettle here. Got a nice color on this one. This one's called Ultra Diesel. Like I said before, batch number 83. I've made it a few times. Or the second, this is the second time, so we changed the recipe just a little bit. So we'll gather the wort here. I'm going to hope to gather uh, seven gallons at least. And then we'll be boiling, hopefully in about 15 minutes. We ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. Back with the boil on the ultra diesel. What a pain in the butt that was. Just started boiling for 10, 15, or er, I don't know, five minutes, and we ran out. 
So, I'm going to start the boil again. I'm going to set the clock, set the timer. We're going to add some honey to this brew, but boy, what a pain in the butt that is. My wife's going to give me a nice cup of coffee. I'm turning it down bit by bit because she wants to, the alt, ultra diesel wants to overflow the kettle. This is a 15 gallon kettle for a 5 gallon batch. Look at those proteins coming right up to the top here. They're running so hot and fast. Hot break is having a trouble. It's starting to settle back down now. Smell the coffee. And smell the coffee and the chocolate. Uh, all the proper stuff we have in there. There you go. Hot break just happened. The hot break was just achieved, but the hops have been in for about 10 minutes already. Like I say, we ran out of gas. We had to go down uh, to the local U Haul and fill up again. What a pain in the butt it is. It's making this day a long brew day for the Ultra Diesel. But we're brewing. Brewing, brewing, brewing. How you doing? We're still brewing. <laughs> Perfect timing. All right. Last edition of hops. Willamette hops are going in again. Last edition on the chocolate stout beer here, which is the uh, Ultra Diesel beer. We call this the Ultra Diesel. Let me shut that timer off there. Nice. Got her. The Ultra Diesel beer, last edition of hops went in. Then we're going to hit it with some Irish moss. I don't have any yeast uh, energizer this time. Almost wish I did, but we don't. So let's get some Irish moss in here, one cap full. One cap full Irish moss. That's in. The honey has been put in. Now uh, we're going to get a reading here on the uh, refractometer shortly. And uh, we'll be going to the fermenter shortly once we get the yeast. That's the sound of flame out, so we're going to turn the flame off. <clears throat> oh, on this beer, we're going to get chilled. Get the work chiller in here. The wife's headed out to turn the hose on when I tell her to. We'll go ahead and turn it on slowly. And easy, nice and slow ones. There we go. No leaks. Take the work chiller out. So there we go, the work chiller's in. I did spill a lot of water on the floor here. We'll squeegee it down, let it dry up. It's getting cold. I'm gonna get my fermenter ready. Hey, oh, this is heavy. Here's our fermenting bucket. Ready. Cover's ready. And we're chilling the work down. And we'll be pitching the yeast within a matter of uh, minutes here. Once our gauge drops. <clears throat> At 180 and dropping fast. So it'll take a few minutes here for the chiller to do its job. And we'll just have to wait. Work chiller is out. We're transferring to the fermenting bucket right now. And the yeast will be pitched shortly. The wife just pitched the yeast. And we're done. We're full. That's all I can get in this bucket. In fact, I think I'm going to have a problem. I can't tell what's in there right now, but so <coughs> keep an eye on this one in case we have a blow-off problem. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bubbler. That's in. I think I'm going to need a blow off tube on this, guys. But that's it. We have a little left in here. We'll clean the kettle in the house. On with the uh, taste test of the uh, Trumpkin Pumpkin 2020. 
We just tapped the keg here. We're hoping we're fully carbonated. And we're hoping the beer is going to taste good. This is the second year in a row we made it. I didn't like it last year. This year it was uh, brewed on a dirty yeast cake. Well, uh, you can go back and see those videos. But we're uh, getting a glass for the wife right now. And we'll give this a nice taste test. See what we got going. Looks like the carbonation could come up a little bit. We'll find out in a minute. Nice looking color. She's like a uh, orange. Got some floaties in there from the keg just being broke. Like I say, this was a, a dirty beer. So she'll get the first glass and uh, if she don't throw up, it'll be okay with me too. Huh? How's, how's that go, Dave? <laughs> so yeah. Not much of a head. Carbonation's a little on the low side. She's got to come up yet. Uh, we got quite a bit of floaties in there. She's ice cold. The smell, I get the, uh, I'm getting the allspice. Cinnamon, for sure. Uh, pumpkin, very slight on the pumpkin smell. Allspice, I'm getting like an apple. That's from the applesauce that we racked on top of. Uh, the esters of the yeast are coming through very nicely. The wife is shaking her head yes. Of course, looks more like a cider to me, not too much of a head. But here we go with the taste test. This was with uh, Willamet hops, I do believe. I might be wrong. No, I'm going to taste test. I'm getting pumpkin, a slight bit of pumpkin. Um, it's got a spicy, uh, tangy, tangy, spicy flavor. That's probably the esters of the yeast. Uh, gets better when it gets a little bit more carbonated. I like it. Not too bad. So we'll see what our guests think when they get here uh, tomorrow for a big turkey day.